How was uh, opening night? It's tonight. Oh, I thought it was Thursday. No, that was a dress rehearsal. Last night was preview, and oh, tonight is the opening. Um, I wasn't at preview. I was at the dress rehearsal, and then we had rehearsal with everybody yesterday day, um, but we did not go to the preview. We're going to opening night tonight. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. So last-minute changes, as always, taking place. That's fun. Yeah. Good stuff. Hey, yeah, welcome back to our stupid directs of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you. Everybody supports us on Patreon. Subscribe if you haven't and hit that like button. Okay, we got a video. We actually got two videos. They're just separate, but uh, I'm going to... Two separate videos. I'm going to link them together. Because We're going to link them together. They're about the same kind of thing. This is about Sanju, Rambi Kapoor to Sanju. So this first one is about um, who they casted as Sanju and how that process went of casting somebody to play the iconic Sanjay Dutt. And the second one is actually about the um, the makeup and transformation. Cool. Um, so it goes into... If you haven't seen her watch long of Sanju, enjoyed that movie. There is one. His we enjoyed performance it. is... Absolutely fantastic in yeah. that movie. God, it at times it was like, whoa, he really looks and sounds and moves like Sanjay Dutt. Yeah. Um, but uh, here we go. The day we decided that we have to do this film, that we're doing Sanjay Dutt's biopic, the biggest challenge was who will play Sanjay Dutt. Somebody has to not only look like him, somebody has to feel like him, behave like him. When Sanju, Sanju, Sanju I said, who will do it? Who will do it? Who will do it? Who will do it? So they said Ranbir Kapoor. So my immediate thing was, yeah, Ranbir Kapoor. When Raju sir uh, messaged me, hey, I'm ready with the first draft. Uh, can I narrate it to you? So I, I was, of course, my body excited with that. So I said, of course, sir. I just hope it's not the Sanjay Dutt biopic. <laughs> he messaged saying that, yes, it is. Ranbir had a lot of apprehensions that uh, how will he look, Sanjay Dutt? Sanjay Dutt is bigger in size. Yeah. His style is Yeah, different. bigger eyes. Such so an iconic look. really worried how will he not only physically look like him, how will he feel like him? I am not him. I can never be him. There's only one Sanjay Dutt and nobody can emulate him. So I had my fears. How will I be able to do Sanjay Dutt? So it was very clear that if we look, uh, achieve me kar sakte, then I'm filming nahi banayin. Yeah. He's like one of the most iconic looks. Especially ever. those eyes. The first challenge which we had was how can Ranbir physically transform into Sanjay Dutt? Ranbir has a lean got a thicken. body. Yeah. So for him to be like Sanjay Dutt, which means a lot of muscles, he had to really work hard, go to the gym, Screen tests. change his diets, put on weight. And that meant hell out of work. And this is before they even decide that to be honest, doing the movie. I detest the gym. I can't stand it. I'm, it's an occupational hazard, so I have to go. I, mean, I think I've been doing this for a film. Hai. So this was the first opportunity where I could do something with my body. So I took it up as a challenge. It requires a lot of discipline, a lot of sacrifice. I was having eight meals a day, waking up at yeah. three in the morning to have a protein shake. It's yep. something which you I do that if you want to bulk up that much. Yep. <laughs> but Sanjay Dutt represents the epitome of bodybuilding, and I could not screw that up. If I'm going to play Sanjay Dutt on screen, body was essential. Oh, yeah. I had a certain look, a muscular look, which I've never had in my life. Does he have bodybuilding Everybody videos? Everybody on set looked at me in a way that, yeah, okay, we've achieved something. So I, want to I see think you won the first battle when Ranbir started looking like the younger Sanju. Yeah. But one look ho gaya, iska matlab nahi ki film ho gayi. So ye puri ek journey hai jisme usko paanch che alag alag kisam ke look chahiye the. Ranbir ko is film mein ek 20 saal ka ladka bhi lagna hai aur ek 55 saal ka aadmi bhi lagna hai. I think the hardest look was the coming out of jail. Some of the, you know, the iconic shot. And because it was so iconic and so fresh in people's mind that we had to get that right. Ab humko Sanju ka ek older look achieve karna tha. We needed experts, so we got Vikram Gaikwad, then we got Clover, who's a prosthetic expert, Alim for hair, and the whole team of people got together. Yeah. 
Aging is my priority. Okay. Age and yeah. let the charm be there. Sanjay's face has changed over the years because of mm -hmm. alcohol. You know, his face had gotten puffy. Mm -hmm. His you know, chin had kind of come down. So I think that added to uh, his aging process. Test after test, and we kept failing. And it's really hard because yeah. you have to sit in a chair for six hours, you know, hoping like God make this work. And it's just a span of 30 seconds when you see it's not working. You know? Yeah, and then yeah. Six hours of work going down the drain. Now, when you forgot the daddy and the cap, two Sanju chalaye. It was very critical that Ranbir Sanju was there. And every time he would come out with a different look, he would feel like, man, this is not going to happen, we failed. But uh, luckily there was an enthusiastic team which was not giving up. I must have been miserable. <laughs> every day for looks that aren't working. Yeah. But when he hit that look, Raju sir saw it. He's like, this is it, you know, I think we got it. Finally, the jail was out of jail, with a blue shirt and a look with a dad. The match that was made, now I thought that if I got this, then it will be different from the five looks. And that day, I got the confidence that now the film will be made. It's amazing. His body language is absolutely like Sanjay. For me, this film without Ranbir Kapoor wouldn't have worked. I think it was the third or fourth day of shoot. And who walks in is Mr. Sanjay Dutt. I'm looking at myself <laughs> playing that guy who I love. Not intimidating watching me play at him. all. Oh, and he's so sitting on set it's, watching. It's one of my Good. Top I, now in do my me. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> I don't know if I could have, like, let, obviously. I'm going to go to the hotel. 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 I don't, obviously, uh, we'll watch the other video right now. I don't know if I, like, if it, there was a biopic about me. I don't know that I would want to do that to that actor. To that actor? No, I wouldn't want to do that to him. All right. Now, now give me your performance of me. And yeah. <laughs> No, the amount, what would go on in their head, I would avoid said. Obviously, he's good friends with um, um, like Raj Kumar Harani. Yeah, I mean, like, process alone just recently at the uh, dress rehearsal, mm -hmm. Indrani asked if she could come. Uh, and then even more so, yesterday when we were working, um, she asked if she, she could come, but was very sensitive to, because it's a pretty sacred atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, and... So I texted each of the actors independently, asked for their approval, said, please say no. If for some reason you don't feel comfortable having someone come into our space. They all said, fine. I asked our actor, our director and our assistant director. Everybody said, fine. But that's kind of what you got to do, because even just having a random person sit in, some actors don't want that because it screws up with the process it gets in their head. So imagine much that. Much less a person you're Much playing. less that. Wow. Yeah. Um, heck of a transformation. Um, and, wow. And so this one, I think is, I think this one goes into a little more of the makeup, I think. After it was approved I and what they so. did on the day. Um, so here we go. One of is one of my favorite looks. It's one of my favorite films. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Understandably. It's a great film. Sanjay Dutt, the actor, the star, has to play on the screen. On the screen, Muna Bhai has to play on the screen. It was a very difficult thing. This is amazing. I don't think I could ever, ever in my career create such an iconic character. But it's, it's great that, you know, this is a little part that I can emulate. Muna Bhai is a part of Sanjay's life. And in this film, we have मुन्ना भाई के बारे में कुछ बात करनी थी। मेरे लिए इट वाज अ वेरी नोस्टाल्जिक जर्नी। हम वही सीन्स जो पहले दस साल पहले शूट कर चुके हैं, उसको वापस रिक्रेट करके शूट कर रहे थे। और रणबीर को मुन्ना भाई बनाना वो एक अलग टास्क था। मुन्ना भाई। 
How many hours did he spend in the chair for this film? It's way too many. Because his eyes are a little sunken, you have to pull the prosthetic down, you know, so you yeah. have to, yeah, to there, open up those eyes. Look, yep. Which was hard to do, you know. If you see Navai, his, his face is not like that. Munna Bhai is a character is a big man with hard looks from the outside but a softy from inside. Ranbir managed to get the physicality but now he had to find the lovability. Yeah. Great description of character, that's true. Day, we lost count. So I think we'll put Terva or... I don't know, I've lost count okay, when we got the look right. What's important is that when you look at the screen, you don't know how much we've done. You will see that... We'll see अच्छा ये ये है पहला पड़ाव था जो लुक का वो हमने क्रैक कर दिया और अभी जो हमारे आगे है वो जो नया माउंट एवरेस्ट खड़ा हुआ है कि अभी मैं संजय दत्त के जैसे परफॉर्म कैसे करूं क्या करूं Because I was playing Munda Bhai in the film, I can't screw that up, you know, because that is such a big damage. <laughs> so I kept asking Raju sir, how did Sanju sir approach it? For us, my brain. Playing Sanju is one thing and playing Munna Bhai is another thing. So he had to figure out how Munna Bhai walked, what is the way he spoke to Circuit, how he was scared of his father in the film. So he had to also practice how Sanju had played Munna Bhai. The amount of times I must have seen Munna Bhai and Raghiro Munna Bhai, <laughs> I mean I've lost count myself. I mean there's certain things you know which also help you uh, like when we talk about the Sanjay the trademark walk, I asked them to add a little uh, height uh, in the shoe in the Munavai section, you know, so that swagger will come. Chalo, okay, order. Action! I think that four or five minutes of screen time that we have in the making of Munavai, which is in the film, uh, was a lot of fun. We used all the shots that Sanju sir was in, then we replaced them with them, replaced them with So now when you see it, I myself don't believe, I feel that I was in the film, you know. It was quite crazy, it's quite surreal also. वो बाहर कैजुअलिटी में कोई मरने की हालत में रहा उसको फॉर्म भरना जरूरी है क्या इट्स अ रियली लवली मूवी व्हेन रणवीर के मुना भाई का फर्स्ट फिल्म आई एंड माय एक्साइटमेंट शोड इट टू संजू एंड संजूस इमीडिएट रिस्पांस वाज आई होप आई एम डूइंग मुना भाई 3 206 टाइप का सिर्फ हड्डी है ओए लो दौड़ने के टाइम अपन लोग सोचते थे कि कब बोल लो सुपर या गो अहेड इज देयर अ वीडियो अबाउट द वर्क that Ranbir put in to get the vocal template yeah through the, through the different ages because that was one of the impressive yeah, things yeah. as well was his vocal template changed yeah and he did a great job sounding like Sanjay it's such a un I've yet to I've auditioned for real people I've yet to be able to play a real person yet I think yeah um, I my don't knowledge no and so that is such a because as an actor you you try to find the character right uh, yeah on your own but playing a real person you have to find your own variation of it, but you still have to try to play him if the film requires it as accurately as possible to yeah. what they were. So you can't just create your own stuff. You have to try to emulate. Yeah. And then on top of that, you're, he is not only playing this real person, right. he's playing him as, as a character. As a character. He's playing he, him being a character. And you have to do the exact same moves, exact same walks. So right. Like there's no really interpretation of it. It's right. Like, I have to, it's basically mimicry. At that time, yeah, <laughs> it is. Um, you still have to act and be, you know. Yeah, you're being a character, being a character. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's it's a fascinating. Yeah, I I the closest I've ever come to playing a historical figure was the short film What Dictators Dream About. Yeah, but Christian didn't want he, he he wanted it to to be leaning in the direction of clearly of Putin, but yeah. not an impersonation of Putin by any stretch. So I listened to hours of, of Putin talking so I could get a general idea of his accent. Yeah. But I wasn't replicating any of his cadence in English, yeah. nothing like that. 
It'd be so interesting to have to play somebody real. Right. Yeah, I a, would love to do that. That's such a different experience. Very different. Um, it's something I've never had the blessing to do as an actor before. Unless you're doing like a Hamilton, which is, you know, everybody's own interpretation of Correct. this um, historical figure. Yeah. And they're not trying to like emulate that person really. Oh, wait. I have played a person from real life, but there's no footage of him at the age he was. I played Sidney Chaplin. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. So I did play Sidney Chaplin, but I didn't have to do any research for that. I could just be me in yeah. the character because there's no footage of Sidney Chaplin yeah. as a kid. As opposed to everybody knows what Sanjay Dutt looks like, talks Correct. like, walks like. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, uh, Versus in that show, Tony had to be Charlie. And then a really remarkable character actor named Jim McGeorge played Stan Laurel. And he was scary. You think he is Stan Laurel. Yeah. He was unbelievable. So, yeah, I would love to do that. Yeah. And that that is a whole other level. Yeah, and <laughs> obviously he's a star and he doesn't need money, but I'm so interested because, like, for actors like us who aren't any names or anything like that, you get paid for hours even before you sign on. I mean, if you're if you're on a film and you're in a chair, you're getting paid. But he was doing looks before he they were really agreeing to do a film. Yeah. So I'm... I'm not that he needs the money at all. I want to know what the like. Is he getting paid for these sit downs, or is he just like ah? Yeah, we're gonna figure this out. It wouldn't surprise me if Raj Kumar said, you know, this is in totality. Yeah, part you're working because you are. You're working because there's no union in, in no. India. Not that the star needs a union because he gets no. But I, I'm, I'm sure. But then again. He could have very well said, hey, I'm free. I want to do this. Let's just pay me the fee for the film. Don't track hours. I'm just getting paid my fee. Yeah. And I blocked out this amount of time to work on the film. You've got me whenever you need me. Yeah. I assume yeah. that's what happens. Yeah. It's such a different industry than, than we have here. Yeah. Um, I'm just, it's just so intriguing to me. Um, but man, yeah. I would love. How to. many hours did he spend in the oh. chair, man? It's for, for that kind of prosthetic, minimum two hours a day, minimum minimum that's probably more probably more like five to six uh, total that's a grinch they probably did a couple of looks a day you talk about when they were trying to figure it out or figuring it out uh, alone oh, okay. then you have to actually do it after it's been decided well once it's been decided they they pre-make everything and, it's and it was easy. probably they probably got it down to a two-hour process yeah um depending upon the look yeah it'd be interested i'm sure people have asked them. yeah um, so the people probably know, but having Sanjay there on set is <laughs> insane. Yeah, that's crazy. Insane. I don't know that, like, if I was directing this, I was like, uh, Sanjay, you can come to the, the screening or you can see that. It's you nerve, can see the dailies. Or, it's nerve wracking enough to have somebody that you admire watch you perform. Unless Ranbir was like, can you come in and help me walk like you? Yeah. Or, I want to study you. Yeah, it's nerve wracking enough to have someone you admire watch you perform. Look, that I, I've talked about this before. I, when I did Chaplin, yeah, yeah. Gene Kelly watched. Yeah. Um, and I met him afterwards. If I was doing something where I was portraying Gene Kelly and he was sitting in the audience, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I don't know that I could do it. Yeah. If if they are there, you, it's best to not tell. Yeah. Don't tell me. Oh. It's far better to find out after the show. Yeah. I want to know if friends and family are there, but if it's somebody I admire, like if I was going on, if I was going on stage to do dinner with friends, and someone told me before curtain, Mark Rylance is in the audience. <laughs> please, please don't tell me that when the show's over. Although in an intimate theater, what sucks is when you're not told, and you look out in the house and you see them <laughs> in the middle of the show, yeah. and you go bring, 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 like, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know that we were told in advance of divorce and musical that oh. I'm going to forget her name. The mom from Everybody Loves Raymond. She came to see Divorce the Musical, and she was in the front freaking row of this 99-cent theater for the whole show. She was just as close to me as you are right there yeah. for the whole show. <laughs> what if you did a thing and, like, Nasir popped up and... Uh... Yeah, just just appeared. Just like, oh, my God, Nasir's in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Um... We just found out last night that at some point... Jason Alexander is supposed to come see Dinner with Friends. Who? I don't know who that is. Who's yeah, it? you do. Who's it? Seinfeld. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, he does a lot of theater, doesn't he? Yeah, he loves theater. He's got a theater company and he directs stuff here a lot. He's a he's a big theater geek. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah I know the name now. Yeah. Um anyway. Anyway, it's fun video. Fun. I love uh movie making stuff like that. Always. Um it's a, it's a long, fun process, especially to do a film 
uh, like this where you have to get an iconic. I mean, I'd, I'd say in terms of iconic looks, <laughs> like at, not as like a character, but just as a person. Yeah. God, he's, he's got to be in the top five for Indian cinema, right? Heck yeah. You got Big B's probably. Big B's up there. So is Kamal. Uh, Amresh. Yeah. I yeah. Think, I don't That's know. That's tough. I don't know if um, uh, Kamal is in the top five looks. In terms of, I'm just like, see, man, they have an iconic look. Anil. Yeah, with the mustache. Yeah, he he's a, got an iconic look, man. Uh, he's got an iconic. I'd say it's probably Amresh, maybe Big B. God, Sanjay has such a iconic look. He really does. And this is just Hindi that I've that I've rattled yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, Shower Rajnikanth. Yeah, I think I. It, it's hard to differentiate because. Shah Rukh Khan is iconic, just he's Shah Rukh Khan. Of I don't course. Know if he has an iconic look. No. The thing I'm, about Sanjay Dutt are those, like when I'm talking those like, eyes, man. That's what I'm talking about, like the voice. Like Irfan. Irfan had an iconic look because of those eyes. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Sri Devi. Those yeah. eyes. Those eyes, man. <laughs> um, yeah. Amresh. Big B. Sanjay Dutt. Jimmy Durante. <laughs> Had an iconic look. If, you, if you're going to play Jimmy Durante, someone's got to recreate that schnoz, baby. <laughs> Jimmy had a nose. <laughs> um, I know I'm forgetting people here, but yeah, he he has such a something that's so different. Yeah, that you're just like, whoa, yeah. they have a cool look. Well, and the body type because he does. He's thick, man. He's 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 a bulky, just yeah. bulky dude. I don't know if. A nil without the mustache would look as iconic. No, you got to have that stash. But it's since he has the same stash. thing with Zaddy. Yeah, Zaddy has such a great stash. Anyways, that was great. Let us know other movie making uh, videos that we can react to down below. Josh!